Hey guys, Wayne Grayson here at Bama 2022. As you can see behind me, we're talking about electrification. That is because at the Bama show uh, here in Munich, Caterpillar had four electric machine prototypes on display. And really that has been the theme of this entire trade show. It's the largest trade show in the world. Caterpillar not the only one displaying electric machines here. Before we get into each and every one of those machines, let's hit on a few high level elements about what you need to know about the direction that CAT is heading in with its electrification solution. Now, first of all, you might be thinking, you know, why now? Why is Caterpillar talking about electrification now? That's, that's, that's years and years off, right? Well, the market is actually putting a lot of pressure on Caterpillar to, to do the opposite. I actually talked with a couple of CAT representatives today and they both told me that they are definitely feeling the pressure from competition, from market forces, from customers that are interested in these zero emission solutions to get them on their job sites quickly. And so essentially Caterpillar wanted to use Bama as a way to say, hey, we are working on these solutions. We're not behind. In fact, we might be a little bit further ahead than a lot of you are thinking. One of the other things that you'll notice about all of these machines is that the familiar Caterpillar Red uh, is not on them. In fact, they are going with a, a, a blue uh, logo, blue logo treatment to kind of distinguish the fact that these are electric machines. And the other big message that they have been telling everybody that's kind of coming through and asking about these four electric machine prototypes is that they match their diesel counterparts in performance. So if you were to hop in the 320 that is diesel powered, Caterpillar's goal is for you to be able to get out of that machine, hop into an electrified 320 and not be able to tell the difference apart from it being a lot quieter inside that cab. But the other really big component to CAT's electrification play is that it has done the part of developing this battery technology, this lithium ion battery technology that is in each and every one of these machines. They've developed this technology in house. That's a big differentiator from a lot of what we've seen from a lot of the other competing brands who have worked with companies like Green Machine, uh, for instance, to kind of retrofit their machines and help them out with some of that battery technology. There's no doubt that Caterpillar has definitely made investments or even kind of like worked with startups and, and other kind of technology firms to kind of figure out this battery technology, but they have developed it completely in-house. And everybody that I've spoken with uh, at the Caterpillar booth today, they've really emphasized that fact, the fact that this is a cat built battery which means it's going to be premium and which it's going to be matched and perfectly suited and optimized for the application that they're putting it under. Caterpillar had uh, two booths at this show. Uh, one of them was for Cat Power, or where they usually show their engines right next door to the Perkins engines booth. And then they had this you know, other booth that was set up by Zeppelin, their dealer here in Germany. Well, at that Cat Power booth, alongside all of the you know familiar engines that, that you would be used to seeing in Caterpillar equipment, they had this new battery solution, or at least a one of the, one of the packages kind of showing off off this battery technology right alongside, like I said, of all those other engines. So it's a pretty big statement that they're making at this show that the battery technology is here, it's not going anywhere, and they're they're ready to talk about it. The other important thing to know about Caterpillar's in-house battery technology is that it is a modular design. They're able to take these battery packs, optimize the batteries, but optimize the build as well for the particular machine that they're putting it inside of. So it's a familiar construction or a common construction of this battery that's going into each of these machines, but it's in different sizes, obviously. You know, you go anywhere from like a 32 kilowatt hour battery in one of the compact machines all the way up to a 320 kilowatt hour battery in the excavator you see behind me, the electric 320. Now, just for reference out there, a 320 kilowatt hour battery, that is uh, about three times the size of what you would see in like a normal Tesla EV. And it's 100 kilowatt hours larger than probably the largest battery on the automotive market right now. And that's inside uh, that new Hummer EV from GMC. But essentially the way the packs work is that they are are made up of individual battery cells. And again, those cells kind of stack on top of each other. And there can be more cells for larger batteries or less cells, but they can also take one of those individual packages of multiple cells and they can put it with alongside others. So some of these machines have one battery pack, another machine might have two, another might have four. This one behind me actually has five battery packs made up of multiple lithium ion cells. And kind of the other key point before we get into kind of the specifics on each of the individual models that we're seeing here today is Caterpillar is kind of seeing this whole thing as a journey, right? They're not jumping fully into kind of like an all electric, meaning that there would be no hydraulics. There is still hydraulic fluid running through these machines, powering the attachments. And so Caterpillar is saying that basically that's going to you know, ease this transition from a diesel uh, engine 
to an electric machine a little bit more because you'll be able to keep your attachments. You'll you'll have you know a familiar kind of control over those implements, and it won't be as kind of stark as if you had to rebuy all of your attachments because that is kind of like the the next stage, right? Is like when you get rid of the hydraulic oil, you've got to figure out how to you know control those attachments via electronics or via servo motors uh, when you replace those hydraulics. All right, so we're going to give you a few specifics on each of these four models that Caterpillar is showing here at BAMA. Now, first off, you have the 301.9 electric mini excavator. Now, this is the counterpart to the 301.8 mini excavator, uh, which was actually displayed right beside it here at BAMA. This, this machine has a 32 kilowatt hour battery. It is the uh, smallest of all four machines in terms of battery size and battery capacity. And you can expect to get six to eight hours of runtime on a single charge with this machine. Now, when this battery is exhausted, Caterpillar says that you can plug it in overnight for an eight to nine hour charge to get you back ready for the next day's work. Now moving on to the second compact machine that Caterpillar had on display here, it's the 906 compact wheel loader. Now this machine has double the battery size of that uh, mini hex. It's a 64 kilowatt hour battery that should get you a six to eight hour run time under average load. Now every other machine, all the three other machines, including that mini hex that we just talked about, have two ways of charging, right? There's an onboard kind of AC charger, which you can kind of plug in. And then they all, except for this compact wheel loader, have DC fast charging with like offboard fast charging. Now, for, uh, for this compact wheel loader, they're not implementing uh, CCS2 or DC fast charging for this. So the only way to charge it up is going to be over, over AC, like a 240-volt outlet. However, Caterpillar says that it can reach up to 80% uh, in, a, in about three hours. So you can charge it pretty quickly. Now, moving into the larger machines, we have a 950GC medium wheel loader. Now, this 950GC has four battery packs on board, uh, making it about 1.5 tons heavier than its non-electric counterpart. Um, now, in total, that's 256 kilowatt hours of battery capacity, and it does reach an overnight charge uh, via its AC, so you can charge this machine up completely overnight if you exhaust it during one workday. However, like I said, it does support DC fast charging, and you can actually charge this machine up to 80% in just one hour. So if you were to deplete this machine down to 50%, say, you could put it on the charger during your lunch break and come back to 80 to 90% charge after that hour long lunch break. The 950GC with that 256 kilowatt hour battery is expected to get you about five to six hours of work time. But again, being able to charge it over the lunch hour will extend that to a full day. All right, and rounding things out here, we have the 320, which is behind me here. This is a medium sized excavator. And just like the name, it actually has 320 kilowatt hours of battery with five battery packs. Now this, again, just like the rest of the machines, Caterpillar Says that you can charge this machine overnight and it should get you about eight hours of work. All right, guys, that's pretty much all we have to share here from BAMA 2022 on these Caterpillar electric machines. Really, really cool to see uh, not just the compact machines, which, we, which we've seen a lot of from, from com you know, competitors in terms of that's typically where they go first for electrification. And to that point, Caterpillar is planning on releasing that 301.9 uh, electric model and the 906 compact wheel loader. Both of those electric models are expected to launch in the U.S. by 2024. So that's really kind of just around the corner. They still have a couple of years to kind of work out all the kinks and, and kind of learn a little bit more about what customers are expecting there. Now, these two larger machines, like the 320 behind me and the 950 GC wheel loader, there's no time frame on those yet. However, it was really cool to see you know, actual working prototypes in person with this battery technology with a machine as large as the 320 that they say you can charge overnight. And the same thing for that 950 GC. That is something that Caterpillar has kind of brought to the table here that is a little bit different from what we've seen everybody else with. Um, we, even some manufacturers have even talked about batteries not really being the right thing for a medium-sized excavator, maybe exploring hydrogen for that. Caterpillar clearly feels confident in its battery technology and is displaying that here today. And I think the other thing to kind of keep in mind, um, right next to this uh, 320, they actually have one of the DC offboard fast chargers that they've been using on their underground mining loaders, right? And those can actually get you a full charge on a 200 kilowatt hour battery in about 20 minutes. So Caterpillar, you know, again, really felt strongly uh, about the fact that a lot of folks were saying that they had been relatively quiet 
And they have come out in full force here at Bama 2022 to kind of show the fact that they are, you know, anything but behind when it comes to electrification. All right, guys, thank you so much for, for watching. We really appreciate it. We'll have more coverage from Bama 2022 throughout this week and some time to come. There's a lot to talk about here. Like I said, the uh, theme for sure um, is electrification. We've got a lot more new kind of electric machine concepts and prototypes. So stay tuned to ironpros.com. We'll see you in the next one.